In this tutorial we're going to look at installing and using custom extensions and Ruby scripts. So the first thing we'll look at is installing an extension from the extension warehouse. And what you need to do first is make sure that the warehouse toolbar is turned on. If it's not turned on you can find it under view toolbars. Scroll to the very bottom of the toolbar tab and find it the warehouse. Make sure that's ticked and that toolbar will now turn on. Then what you need to do is click on the extension warehouse um, and that will then bring open a new dialog. And now what I can do is I'm going to um, search for an extension that uh, used to be available in previous versions of SketchUp but is now an extension. So type in Solar North. And you can see that Solar North is now being found and it's created by the SketchUp team. So click on that. And you can see there's a little bit of detail about what you can do with that Solar North, um, a few reviews um, about the creator of the um, extension um, and different plugins also available by that by that developer. So click on sign in because you need to have um, either a Gmail or Google account to be able to actually download the extension. So once you've um, signed in the install button will appear, so click on that. And then it'll just give you a little bit of info. We'll just have it will be able to access your um file system on your computer. Um and we can trust the author because it is the SketchUp team. Yes we would like to install the extension and it just gives you the results of it's now been successfully installed and is now available for use. Okay, so if we can close that, then if we go to view, toolbars, scroll to the very bottom, um, turn on Solar North and it's now turned on. So Solar North is great because it allows you to um, select the north angle. So we can tick the first option and it shows us where north is. If we click on set with north tool, um, we can then click and then set the north angle. Uh, but I'll go more in depth with this tool in the shadow tips tutorial. So the shadow toolbar tips tutorial. Um, so that's the initial process of finding and installing an extension. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install um, some RB files uh, which are plugins created by third-party developers. So what you need to do is on the web page by this tutorial there's a download link for uh, a couple of free uh, plugins. So download those first then you need to go and find those um, wherever they are on your computer. So mine's actually under under um, the folder here, Ruby Scripts. And I'm going to go then to C Drive, Program Files x86, then go to SketchUp. Then depending on what version of SketchUp you're using, you'll either select 2014 or 2013. Um, for this purpose, or for this tip, I'm going to choose 2013, then I'm going to go to plugins, and you just need to paste the files straight into plugins. So right click, paste, and then um, I've already got them in there, so you'll need to replace whatever is existing, and then we've now done it. Then what you need to do is you need to close down SketchUp once you've installed those plugins, and just restart it. Okay, so we've installed a couple of little Ruby scripts. Um, so I'm going to draw a surface and just show you how the first one works that we installed. Oops, going to click on Eraser. 
Okay, so let's say I have a couple of lines here um, and there's no surface and I want there to, to be a surface because this may be imported from a DWG file and it's got lots of lines and you want to be able to just quickly fill that, fill that in. So how you use the Make Faces Ruby script is you then get the Select tool, select the lines, go to Tools, Make Faces and then that creates a surface from those from those edges. Uh, the other one is the Simplify Contours tool. So if we, let's say, have these contours and just for this example I'm going to have to just create some manual contours and select those contours um, and explode the curve. Explode curve. Okay, and why I did that is I wanted to break these up into segments to show you how um, generally a site or contours would come into SketchUp. And they usually come in as lines and are broken. So to simplify contours you would need to select the contour lines, just like so, go to plugins and then go to simplify contours and usually you set the angle quite low, maybe 5, and press OK and then it then joins those back to a solid line and so they're no longer segments which makes it much more easier if you need to um, adjust the height of those contour lines OK, so there's a quick overview of how to install extensions and how to install Ruby scripts which are RB files.